Salesforce allow us to import data in a bulk. The comma delimited text format or .csv we can easily import external data into Salesforce. There are two ways to import data into Salesforce in bulk. We have covered data import wizard in the previous video. Let's consider data loader. Data loader is a client application that means it is a standalone program which connects with Salesforce network after authentication through username password and security token. Security token is provided at the time of user creation or can be resetted from user settings. More on that in later videos. Data loader can import up to 5 million records at a time. The plus side is the records can be of any data type, either from files or a database connection. Further you can perform operations through command line. Data loader comes handy when you should upload from 50,000 to 5 million records. Especially when the object is not supported by data import wizard further the imports can be scheduled such as nightly loads. By default, data loader uses the SOAP API to process records. However, it can be configured for bulk API. The bulk API is optimized to load many records simultaneously. It is faster than the SOAP API due to parallel processing and fewer network round trips. If you have not already installed data loader into your local system, download it from Salesforce. Log into your org. Click Setup. In Quick Find menu type Data Loader. Click on Data Loader. Select the version of Data Loader you want to download for your machine from Windows or Mac choices. Once downloaded install Data Loader on your machine. Open Data Loader. A pop window will open showing multiple DML operations. To perform any of these actions you have to log in into Salesforce through Data Loader for this select the operation you want to perform. For example, click Insert. Data Loader will ask for credentials. Provide username password and security token as a suffix to password. Click Next select the object for which data is to be imported. Browse for the file for which contains data. Data Loader will initialize the content. Click OK. Map the fields between object selected and the file selected for import by clicking Create or Edit a Map button. Try to auto match fields and columns first. For the remaining fields select manually. Make sure that data types match between object fields and files columns. Also, the mandatory fields in object should be mapped otherwise data loader will throw an error. Click OK or save mapping for future use. Click Next and then browse for the location where the errors files should be saved on your system. Click Finish and then Yes to proceed warning. Progress information will be shown. View success or view errors to verify that all data is imported successfully. Well done! You have successfully imported data into Salesforce by using Data Loader. Which topic you want us to cover next? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more videos.